It's Machinima time, episode four of Overclocked. I am so looking forward to this. I cannot wait. This is my favorite Machinima out there. Uh, Elite Expeditionary apparently even did a video where he threw DG360 in the community a shout out, which we'll watch at the very end of this. But let's watch. If you don't know what this is, you're in for a treat. If you want to watch the first three episodes and you're here live, uh, go back on the YouTube when I release this highlight and you will see in the description the watches that we did episode one, two, and three in the description. So if you don't want to be spoiled, go there. You can click on them. Uh, but for those people here live, just stick with me, watch us, and then you can go back on, on the YouTubes and watch the first three. But wow, this is really good. I highly recommend you sit, chill, enjoy, and watch this. They've done such a backstory on the characters here so Jesus, far. I should have never seen you Are they going to bring this. us back to the present? I whoever did this. I promise. Dude, they're doing so good. They're doing so good. <laughs> Albatross, this is EE -E Ops. They are pumping out episodes like mad. I like I don't know how they're keeping up the production of this. This is ridiculous. Like, super compliments to Lead Expeditionary. Welcome back. You are cleared to approach and dock with our command vessel at this time. Please approach the port side airlock. How copy? Albatross copies all. On final approach now. One KIA on board. This 2001 Space Odyssey music is great. Sorry to interrupt, boss. Just wanted to inform you that Ava's remains have been properly stored and our transport team is prepared to deliver them for cremation at Lorville per her request. Thanks, Nanny, but I've changed my mind. About? I'm going to deliver her remains myself. It's the least I could do after getting her killed. These things happen, especially in this line of work. She'd still be alive if I knew when to quit. Her father saved my life, only to have me lose hers. I'm sorry. Welcome to the family. So am I. Unfortunately, that won't bring her back. Or the 112 other people that have fallen under my leadership. For a just cause. <laughs> You're a good man, Eddie. One of the best we've got. I'm offering you a promotion. I want you to be the next fleet commander of Elite Expeditionary. You're leaving? Just taking a step back. It's about that time in my career. Well, I'm flattered. But I'm more about cargo ops than combat. That's a good thing. Maybe you'll get less people killed because of it. Oh, dude, he is, he's, he's, he's going to shed some tears over that, dude. They were tight and he's like, fuck this. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm going to put this guy who's not even, shouldn't even be in this position in there and I'm getting the fuck out. Wow, dude. He better ask for a race, says Keto. What's up, bro? <laughs> oh, it's so much better, Jeff. Yeah, when people know how to use it and yeah, Floyd, this Floyd is fantastic. Shortly, boss. Nomad's fully functional, ready to go in one of the hangars. Great, thanks. Also, as requested, boss. Damn, he put her in a box. Is this? Ava's remains. I hope whoever did this gets what they deserve. Me too. 
That dude put her in a box and stuff. You idiot! You screwed up one more simple <laughs> task! Right, right. And now our entire reputation with the other gang is ruined! You better figure something out. Okay, that is the best voice ever, dude. That almost sounds like a a, a combination between Skeletor and and uh, Schnarf, Schnarf, Schnarf from uh, Thundercats. That is a Skeletor Schnarf mix right there. Love it. Oh, or I'll have What's your in the box? What's in the box? Do you hear me? Answer me, you toaster. Yes, Grifter. Oh, I, I love this dude. Another way. <laughs> This is a prohibited area, pal. Stay put while I run a scan. Shit. This fucking guy. Parking wherever he feels like. <laughs> this fucking guy. Oh, oh shit. Hey, hey you. Don't you move an inch or you toast, buddy. Oh, shit. Yeah, this, this guy is responsible for a slew of murders, apparently. Rolling in a bucket of air. Get it in the computer. It's about time. <laughs> oh, shit! Hey, hey, Chief. I'm gonna need you to shut it down. It's gonna be a while. Not on my watch. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker! Ooh, I like the music. Oh, man. Man. Hey, Nettie? Uh, what's up? Nate dropped off the scope. I thought it was a glitch, but he's been off for a while now. Okay. Give me the time and the grid of his last known location. Get me to Euros in here ASAP. We're shifting to Redcon 2. Such great pacing. Such great pacing. Hey Ops, this is Boss. Radio check. Got you loud and clear, Boss. What happened? I think the Nomad needs some work. Ava's remains have been delivered. Everyone stand down. Attention. This is Crusader Security. A distress beacon has been detected on the surface of Selen. A Drake Caterpillar contracted by Shubin Minen is suspected to have been hijacked. Reports are... It's the attention to detail. The facial, the facial expressions. They take the time to do it right. They edited them in. Elite Expeditionary is just fucking taking their time doing this. But they're pumping out episodes left and right. I don't know how they're... Like, this is crazy amounts of work right now. I can tell you as a content creator, this is crazy amounts of work what they're doing right now the attention to detail is fucking fantastic they're doing so good a plus a plus that the culprit uses buccaneers to execute the crew it's gotta be him my turn asshole this is the best machinima out there for star citizen right now i mean it's just so well done boss this is ee -E ops you are clear to approach and dock with the command vessel at this time. I, I lost contact again. I love those looks, man. I love those looks. Build up that suspense. Don't tell me I missed him. <laughs> go check it out. should be rocking an F-55, right, E-Red? What's up, Von Sands? How you doing, bud? 
Welcome to the fam, man. This place is empty. Elite Expeditionary, Vaughn. We focused. love them. Gonna be a cold one. That no man is bad luck. Listen. Quiet. If I wanted to kill you, I would have turned your neck into a crater. Ooh. At least if I wasn't so curious. Who are you? You killed her. Didn't you? Answer my question. I'm the commander of Elite Expeditionary, and you killed one of my special agents a few days ago with your buck. I'm surprised that there was anything left over for you to find. Fucker. Uh, 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 uh. One more wrong move and you'll end up the same way. That Nomad, it's worth a pretty penny if I remember correctly. It's not for sale. Oh, the, it's, it's building, man. It's getting intense. What's up, Razor? 19 months. Serious commitment. Serious commitment. Thank you, Razor. Love you, bro. Well, it is now. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Shortest career in history. I knew when he got that fucking raise. I knew when he got that promotion. It was game over. Like, I, I fucking knew it. I knew it. That was the, the shortest lived fucking promotion in the history of fucking promotions. <laughs> Albatross has the fucking sight. Proceeding to neutralize. <laughs> Right? I think he rigged Just a it. handful of this stuff goes a long way. I say we call it Netty. The Nomad wasn't even here. <laughs> What's up, Plastic? How sleep. you doing, buddy? These wrecks are always full of surprises. I found him. He's still alive. You okay, boss? Oh, he's alive. Yeah. I'm okay. The armor saved me from the shrapnel. Albatross, wheels up. He's alive. Well, I'm glad you made it. Because I wanted to tell you, I accept your offer. I'm ready to command Elite. You the one that organized this little rescue mission? Even got a hot cup of stim calf for you back home. Glad you're all right, boss. No. You're the boss now. Bastard stole my nomad. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Something, something. I'm getting weird vibes. Thank you, Captain Explodo. Explodo. 12 months. Thank you for that resubscription, bro. Serious commitment. Dude, are you guys getting weird vibes on this? Hold on. I got to rewind just a second. Just a second. You're the boss now. Bastard stole my nomad. I was wondering about that. Don't worry. I've got one you can use. It's not special, though. Hey, Nate. Yeah. There's one more thing I think you should know. Lorville reported that Ava's remains never arrived. You know anything about that? I'll handle it. Yes, we are, Blam. <laughs> yes, we are, dude. God, 
<laughs> so, how'd it go? Ah, very well. Uh, spectacular, even. Despite this being at the forefront of our technological capabilities, I think that you shall be very pleased with our work. Are you ready to meet her? I'm ready. Ah, <laughs> splendid! We have managed to save much of her neocortex. And a lot of her personality is still intact. No! Incredible. And even though there was sufficient damage to her gray matter, we were able to supplement with artificial intelligence. And yet she is still very much human. <clears throat> Are they bringing Ava back? It's like an Ibrahim sphere, man. They're bringing in like the lore that we just learned last week, which is on the channel, by the way. Go check it out. What? Ava, how is your day going? My day is going well, Doctor. Oh, shit. She's Thank like robotic. <laughs> oh, shit. Go on. Ask her something. Ava. <laughs> do you remember me? <laughs> what? Do you know my name? You are the one who calls me special. Yes. Well okay, 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 dude. I just got goosebumps, man. It's getting freaky dinky, man. This is getting freaky dinky. <laughs> what? He's like, are you going to be my personal sex bot now? Do you remember that night we kissed under the bridge? You remember that? I do. Okay. Would you like to go back to my apartment? Beep, 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 beep. I will. Sex bot, Ava. Well done, Ava. You remember I'm the going tickets? to have to shut you down now temporarily. <laughs> There's still some work that needs to be performed. Okay? Eat a dick. <gasps> oh, oh, dear. That oh, that's her personality coming out. That's great. That's great. Still some work that needs to be performed. Okay? Eat a dick. <gasps> oh, dear. That must be some sort of glitch. No. That's her. Welcome back, Ava. <laughs> oh, that's fucking I've got fantastic. Big plans for you. Oh, he's gonna use her the same way he did from the beginning. What the fuck? He's gonna use her the same way he did from the fucking beginning? That is the craziest fucking shit. That is so good. This guy is so good. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna watch this video. Apparently, he gives us a shout out, which is awesome. Of of Elite Expeditionary, I'm gonna like that. I am subscribed. Go to their channel. Very underrated channel. The fact that this guy only has 1,340 subscribers is a fucking travesty. We brought this. We our community brought him up from a couple hundred, and now we're at like 1,300. Like I, I really want our community to just pour into this guy's channel and sub, 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 sub this guy. He is amazing. What he is creating is awesome. It should have views beyond views beyond views beyond views. It is the best Star Citizen machinima that is out there. It is so well done and produced. And the amount of episodes that have been is just fantastic. I really want to see what he's got to say here. Uh, apparently, somebody said he shout out our community for helping him out. Let's check out. This is the creator of um, Overclock here. So Elite Expeditionary, let's check him out. Let's see what he has Creator to say. Creator of the Overclock series. And I just want to give a quick thank you to all of you who have liked and supported the series so far and the members of my org Elite Expeditionary for helping me with a lot of the filming, the voiceover acting, my beautiful wife Kim who helped was, was the voice of Ava actually, and some of my other friends who did voice work. Thank you so much. Um, the series was a bit of an accident. Um, I had made some ads for my org, org before, but wanted to go a little bit deeper into the machinima thing. I made the first episode. I liked it so much. I decided to finish the first season. I was averaging an episode a week. Which Crazy. Is, as you can imagine, is a lot of work. That's but tons of work. Done. And that, that is an understatement. That is a fucking understatement. It's more than a lot of work. He had to get people together. He had to like get them a, a script. He had to like get the voices. He had to like, you know, put these shots together. Uh, you know, like the amount of attention to detail on this, the pacing, the editing is fucking like the amount of work to get these four episodes out the way he did is just there's nothing else out there that that, that screams uh, commitment and and like the amount of work put in like is just insane. It, it had to be insane to do this. And uh, I'm glad I did because I definitely want to do more. Um, 
DG360, uh, thank you so much for helping awesome, bring attention to the, uh, to the series and for supporting us. Uh, DG360 covers Star Citizen stuff and Machinima stuff. That's awesome. Uh, I have to do that. This channel is a lot of fun. Um, and also, uh, I'm thinking of maybe doing spotlight episodes that, to go deeper into characters, but not necessarily a second season. I'm not sure yet. It, it sort of depends on my schedule. Um, Overclocked was sort of a fun creative break for me. It's sort of like an R-rated G.I. Joe cartoon. It was a way for me to sort of <laughs> That's like perfect. not take that is a perfect description. Uh, filmmaking quite as seriously as maybe I normally do, and uh, but still very much love it. Um, I do think there's a bit of a machinima renaissance happening right now. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I said this years ago. And uh, Hard Space from before. Um, Black Valk Down is one of my favorite What's things. up, bingo? Um, and then, you know, Nocturne. There's something for everybody. And for those of you that have made Machinima before, you know how friggin' hard it is. Yes, yes. I think the community should uh, support the Machinima. Absolutely. Encourage it. Absolutely. Um, there's something for everybody um, because we really want to see more of this. And we, we want do. to encourage more of this type of yes. thing. Yes, 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 yes. Um, with that said, I do want to leave you guys with this really cool 3D printed Cuddy Black that Ooh. one of my org members gifted me. Uh, the Cuddy Black is one of my favorite ships. It was my first ship. That I knew I, I liked this guy. Out of, um, but I think this is pretty cool. Thought you guys would agree. And with that said, um, fly safe, be good to each other, and we'll see you in the verse. Thank you. That That is awesome. I think that was a very genuine thing to thank our community. Uh, we, we thank you as well, man, for making great content. Thank you for shouting out DG360 on the video. That was super genuine. That was very, very, very awesome of you, bro. Uh, we'll always like your content. Keep it up, man. You're doing such a good job. Uh, just never stop, dude. Never stop. You you should have much more attention. You are very underrated, and I know how that feels. <laughs> we call it the DG ratio. The amount of work I put out over the years versus the actual attention has been like, and the quality of that work has been like crazy. So we understand what you're going through. We understand the commitment. We understand the hard work. And I recommend everybody in the DG360 community go over, uh, give this dude like some serious support. Go subscribe. Go like his stuff. Really good stuff. Very, very nice pacing on this machinima. Can't wait for more episodes. Very, very well done. Great writing. Great pacing. Great editing. It's A+. plus. Bar none, probably the best Star Citizen machinima out there. Go check it out. Pepe. Get us back to the show.